Hello YouTube, this is Charles Christopher with Tougaloon Outdoors and today we will be reviewing the Spy Point Force Trail Camera. So hopefully y'all do stick around and enjoy the video. Alright ladies and gents, so I went ahead and picked up the Spy Point Force. Um, I checked Spy Point's website, they don't sell it on their website. I do see a uh, special edition um, like silver tab over here. So I believe this is a, only located at Cabela's. I'm not sure if you find it on the website, then awesome. I didn't see it. So what does it come with? Uh, first and foremost, it's got a 12 megapixel camera, um, 90 quote unquote foot of flash, and then 42 infrared LEDs. Now that's pretty awesome um, compared to uh, the other trail cameras we've reviewed so far. But then on the back, it gives you more more description about the camera trigger speed 0.3 seconds which is good HD video 720p it only takes 10 to 90 seconds of video which is nice I don't need a four minute long video um, it does have nighttime capabilities obviously so we're gonna go ahead and crack the box and do and do see how this is uh, packaged um, I mean, so far, just from what I've told on the outside of the box, it feels like it's n nothing's going to happen to it. Um, you crack it open. And as y'all can see, we have what appears to be a double plastic ordeal going on. I'm trying to slide this out. You do have to raise up on the, pla uh, the cardboard if uh, you don't want to mess up the box. If not, you can rip it. I'm not going to try to mess up the box. So... Once you get it out of the cardboard, you are faced with some a plastic layer over top, which is nice to see. Um, it is flimsy, like clear plastic, so nothing like spectacular. Then here is the trail camera, the spot point. And on the back side, you do have a detachable backing to go ahead and feed your um, strap that comes with it. Feed it through. Um, I'll go over the strap here in a second. You also get a user manual, uh, the quick start guide. Um, also shows all their other trail cameras in there. Um, I'm not going to go through it just because who actually honestly goes through them. So, um, I did say I wanted to go through the uh, strap with y'all. I'll say this because a lot of the um, trail cameras I've been recent recently doing, their straps are like pretty crappy now this strap is it feels almost like an aluminum strap but the buckle on it is nice see you have to press down and then you have these rigid teeth so you go ahead and the only thing you're going to do is you're going to right here we'll go ahead and slide it through here we don't have to do it out in the field go ahead and slide that through one under one over and then, so we are set there. Next thing you want to do is take your strap. And I put the strap on backwards. Awesome. Um, take the strap, go ahead and slide it through the hole. And you should just be able to pull it. Yeah. So I honestly feel pretty comfortable with pulling this and it not slipping or anything. Um, so yeah, um, let's go ahead and stay focused on the actual trail camera. That's what y'all want to view. Um, you have a piece of plastic over this. I'm trying to get it off real fast. I don't really know if it's going to affect anything if you don't get it off, but I don't want to take the chance of not getting it off. I 
So what, what, what really separates this from any other trail camera for the price of $99 um, is this right here. I have not came across a $99 trail camera that has an LCD screen on it. Um, it's pretty nice to see that. They have a display one at Cabela's that you can look at. And it is... Uh, this is definitely a really nice trail camera. So the only issue that I see so far is I don't see a, a water gasket around the edge. I would like to see that. Um, you have a water gasket around your camera lens and then the sensor down here, but we all know what happens if you get your LCD screen wet. It gets ruined. SD card slides in right through here. Listen, let's see how quiet it is. It's super quiet. And your batteries. Um, batteries are on the back side. Um, six, I believe. One, two, three, six. Yeah. Six AA batteries, and you are set. So I will see y'all out in the field when it, when we are setting this bad boy up. All right, ladies and gents. So we are at the farm. Um, as you can see, we have corn put out. We are going to go ahead and set up the trail camera. Um, Like with all my truck cameras, I like to wrap it twice. So now we are going to hold OK or press OK. Um, settings. Our batteries are super low. Um, we're just going to go ahead and put video. A minute delay. Start camera video. Low batteries letting us know. 30, 29. Well, here, hang on. Since we are low batteries, we're just going to go ahead and do. So, as y'all can see, it gives us a time. And that's how easy it is to set up. Um, I will be back in about a week or two to check the trail camera. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so it's been about a week now, um, the quality of photo on the spot point is I'm actually very surprised about, it's very clear day and night, um, I was expecting a little less out of the 12 megapixel camera, but they chose a great camera, it takes very clear photo, and especially at night time is when it really starts to shine and, um, separates itself especially from the wild game, um, so far, I've used this trail camera a lot more than I was expecting to. Um, I think I may actually keep this trail camera for long term just because it's such a nice quality camera. The one concern I did have about the water gasket came through um, when we had a really, really bad rainstorm. A little bit of water did get on the inside, but nothing terribly serious. 
Um, moving photos, as y'all can see, can be kind of blurry. Obviously, you're not you're not buying a browning where it's moving. Quality photos should be very clear, but still, for ninety nine dollars, I'm very 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 impressed. Overall, I mean, here's a buck. Um, you can zoom in and you can see every detail about him. Um, but overall, I'm I'm very impressed with Spot Point's uh, Force camera. I I would really enjoy to uh, test out some of their other cameras. Maybe once they come out with a uh, like a, a higher megapixel camera, um, because for a budget camera, I recommend the recommend this to anyone who's especially even if they're a veteran hunter. Um, they also come out, they also have a, sol a solar powered one and a Wi-Fi or data one that sends you the pictures. Um, here is going to be a few videos that were taken with it. I mean, this is at nighttime. Just the quality is crazy on how actually nice it looks out of a $99 trail camera. Um, here's a non-typical that I think, especially if we, if we let him grow, he will be a very nice buck. And here's during the daytime video. Like, um, y'all can really see how nice of quality it is so hopefully i did enjoy this video and if y'all did make sure to leave a like down below um and a comment it really does help uh one my rating out of five is a four and a half maybe maybe a four yeah four and a half just because of how the waterproof kind of screwed up but other than that hope you all have a nice day